Hey guys, welcome to another Awakened Chaos Era video. Today, I'm going to show you a Speed Explosion Queen team. So we're running, obviously, Gangalo A2. So he's sitting out 20k health, 160, 100, 1,629 defense, 175 speed, and 128 focus. Um, Gajar here, he's not fully geared, so we might just chuck a weapon on him, just for the sake of the weapon. Uh, if we can get a revival set on him, that'd be good. Okay, we'll just chuck the first one here. Not too bad. Alright. So he's just in a random set, just purely he needs to go first. He does, He needs to go behind that Lux and first beyond the other poisoners. Uh, I'll explain it a little bit in greater detail shortly. Um, I was supposed to look at his stats. Ooh. Um, 11, uh, 12,000 health, 1100 defense, 189 speed and 30% focus. Uh, then we have Santis here. She's very slow, 167 speed 17,000 health and 102 focus she's not even geared properly let me just fix this up find a curse boots uh, we want to keep her slow so we're just going to chuck that on her just for the sake of her having curse and then obviously that Lux he is in a full raider set so full raider set he is very very strong so I don't come I don't suggest you guys getting like you know 4.3k attack, 193 speed, 72 crit rate, 294 crit damage. So there's that. So the way this team works is um, Zatlux goes first, clear the waves for me. Then Gajar comes in. He won't do any poison detonators because he's the first one doing. So he's more likely to apply a poison. Right? So first go, he goes, he will do his A2 ability. Right? Then we have Gangalo that does an extra one, maybe two poisons. Then Sansus will come in and extend all of them. And then Gajar will explode them. We just got to make sure we are targeting the boss here. Yeah. It is quite a fast team. It's very nice to watch. Um, because Zalux is quite strong here. Um, obviously, we might put a little bit more focus on uh, Gajar here since he did just get resisted. That's a little bit awkward. This is a pretty bad run. Um, this works purely because of his trait. Um, the unhealable and the resistance down uh, helps quite a lot for the entire team. Now, most people, Zatlux and Santis and Gajar may die, but it's not the end of the world because Gangalo is generally strong enough to tank it out. Um, so there's that. And yeah, it's pretty fast. Um, I'm going to fix Kajar up real quick. And then we'll do a multi-run. Uh, a multi-battle of 10 runs. And we'll get the a rough idea of how fast this team is. So if you are trying to push into a speed team. And you have these champions but you're not too sure how to do it. Obviously you need Zatlux strong enough. Kajar to go second after Zatlux. And then Gangalo and then Santis last. So let's just quick up, uh, fix up Gajar here and put him in um, uh, a focus amulet or something here. And we'll see what happens, yeah? We'll see what happens. So we're going to put Gajar in a focus amulet or get his focus up a little bit higher than 30% because that's quite bad. Let's be real. Let's see if we have a focus amulet here. A focus amulet no one's using. But Luke's using that. He we're not using the Luke at the moment, so we can just take this piece off him. So we jump him up to 80% focus now. So he's at 13k health, 185 speed, 80% um, focus. Now we just got to make sure he is faster than um, Gangalo here. So he's 185, 175. We're doing good. Yeah. All right. We're gonna do a multi battle of 10. Enjoy.
Alright, well we got a party of three which ruined it, but you get the idea, it's about a minute and seven seconds. Now, you did, there was a battle there, I think it was round five, if you recall. Everyone has kind of died except for Gajar, uh, not Gajar, Gajar and Gangalo, sorry. Um, the reason why that took so long is because um, Gajar didn't apply any of the unhealables on. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.